Hi everyone, this is Ryan and uh, for today's topic, I'm going to be talking about how to select a reliable Forex broker. Now, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of Forex brokers out there, but which one is reliable, right? Now, there, there are, you know, we must understand that uh, Forex around the world is largely unregulated, right? So a lot of uh, Forex brokers are going to be registered in uh, offshore countries, you know, uh, those small little countries where getting licenses are easy, you know. So what we want to do is we want to select the brokers from a more reputable country right uh, no sorry what i meant is we want to select a broker that is registered with a more recognized regulator all right so the top two regulators right now are from the uk and from the australia right so uk is the fca right and in australia we have the asic right so these are the top two regulators in the world right now and if your broker is regulated with either one of these two um regulators they would uh, definitely mention it on their website and at the same time they would have a license number on the website as well all right so check with your broker right check on your website if they do have a license number from either one of these two regulators the fca or the asic and if they don't don't panic right don't panic yet um, not all brokers want to be regulated by these two regulators, right? So, um, because, you know, to be regulated by a regulator, there are a lot of terms and conditions and rules that they need to follow, right? So, for example, um, you, the, the leverage cannot be too high, that kind of stuff, all right? But it would be better to trade with a forex broker that's regulated by either one of these two, all right? So, um, this is just uh, additional knowledge for you. It doesn't mean that if your broker is not registered with either one of these two, you should quickly take out your money and uh, and uh, switch brokers, right? Just be a bit more careful. And, you know, I, I believe, uh, you know, in all things in life, it requires a bit of common sense. You wouldn't want to put your whole life savings into one broker, all right? Split them up among several brokers as well, even if they're regulated by FCA or ASIC. All right. So I hope you gain knowledge from today's video. All right. And uh, if you like my videos, please like my Facebook page or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.